happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a bath and body works haul for you all you guys i'm in the process of organizing my full bath and body works collection and i just realized that i have a haul that i didn't even haul for y'all so i wanted to go ahead and bring that to you so during this year's sas sale um i did haul a couple of items right at the tail end of the sale and I put them in my closet. Honestly, I just forgot about it. So I wanted to show you all the few items that I did haul. You all do know that I am doing my year of no buy, low buy from Bath and Body Works, but I made this purchase before I decided to do that. So yeah, this doesn't really officially count as a haul, but I definitely wanted to just show you guys what I got because like I said, I'm gonna be filming my entire collection. So I want you all to see the goodies that I picked up, okay? All these items were on sale. They were all 75% off. And so the first item I picked up here is a sweater weather. Um, let me read you all the scent notes on this. I do have this scent in the candle and I absolutely love it. I know there was like a lot of um, people saying that like the scent and the body care didn't smell as good as it did in the candle form. And so I wanted to just try it, it was 75% off. You know, I'm like, you know, I don't have anything to lose with it. So the scent notes on this um, is crisp, sun crisp apple autumn leaves. I actually just put some of this on and I'm pleasantly surprised that I actually like it. I literally just put this on right before I started recording the video and it's pleasantly, I'm pleasantly surprised at this scent. So to me, it smells like, it smells like a slight masculine scent. It smells like a cologne actually. So I think this scent could be geared towards the men's collection to be honest with you. But there's a hint of masculinity to it and there's slight woodiness to it. And there's like this Christmas to it, crispness to it. Oh, maybe that's what the apple is. So yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I like this scent. Um, I'll be excited to maybe pull it out. Maybe around the fall time, I feel like would be a good time to use it. Or it's something that maybe my hubby can use, but he takes forever to go through lotion. So maybe I'll just keep it. But anywho, um, yeah, I really like sweater weather. So yeah, I'll see how it wears and, you know, maybe if the scent changes over time as you're wearing it. But so far, so good. I actually wish I had picked up two of these. This is really nice. So that sweater weather and picked up one other body cream. Oh, okay, y'all. So y'all know I love Dark Kiss. So I did pick it up in the body cream. I have, I have went through one of these before. I went through a whole collection of these before and I really enjoy this scent a lot and so dark kiss the scent notes on it is black raspberry burgundy rose bergamot incense and dark dark vanilla bean and plum musk this scent right here it is just a nice dark seductive scent like it's very very nice like if you want to get your grown and sexy on i always say this when i when i talk about this scent but if you want to get your grown and sexy on you want to have dark kiss in your collection so i picked it up in the um body cream as well as in the fine fragrance mist and again i went through a full um i went through a full size of both of these items before in the past i'm happy to have it in my collection again i do have a full review on dark kiss so i will leave that link down in the description and or in the cards but yeah y'all this scent is really good and it looks like they redid the packaging and i love the new packaging it looks like a mystical amethyst you know so yeah really like this scent a lot oh so much so that i also picked it up in the shower gel wow okay yeah so i picked up the entire collection y'all yes the entire collection i love me some dark kiss okay i'm, I'm excited like I said, i'm excited to have that in my collection again the next item that i picked up is fireside flurries y'all i really enjoy this scent a lot i actually discovered this scent during the recent christmas release that they had it was a whole new line that they did and this was probably by far my favorite scent um the scent notes on it is toasted marshmallow pink lavender and cashmere woods y'all yeah it's a really good scent this scent kind of reminds me a little bit of um what is it beach night summer marshmallows that's what this scent smells like and so if you all did not get a chance to try that scent or if you were curious about what it smells like fireside flurries is a nice dupe of that so i do have i think i have one of these already so i'm excited to have another i think i either have one of these already or i just had the body cream in it and i wanted to get the shower gel so either way i'm happy to have this so this is fireside flurries and then i picked up um a couple of fine fragrance mists I picked up Cashmere Glow, y'all. I thought this was really cute. I really like the packaging on here. Um, the scent notes, I'm happy that they started putting the scent notes on the back of here too, but the scent notes on this is Golden Peach, Lily Petals, Shimmering Vanilla, and Cashmere Musk. Let's get a whip of this. Mmm, okay. Wow, this is nice. It's a very fragrant, soft vanilla scent. 
like it's it's a very soft fragrant vanilla scent so i feel like it opens up with the vanilla right off the bat and then it's kind of softened up with a little bit of musk so yeah i don't really get too much floral in it the peach okay maybe the peach helps soften up the vanilla so okay it's like a peachy vanilla scent but the peach isn't really strong it just it softens the vanilla and then it's rounded off with a little bit of musk so this is a really nice scent this is a scent i can see being used year round this is very pleasant yeah so that's cashmere glow and i had also picked up forever red so i had been eyeballing this scent for like ever and i've heard a lot of good things about it so i figured i would go ahead and give it a try so the scent notes on this is fiery pomegranate red peony rich vanilla rum and oak wood so let's see what this smells like hmm okay this is a very bold scent hmm this smells like i'm a grown woman okay this smells like let's see it's a very yeah it's a very strong bold scent um the pomegranate isn't as strong in this scent as i was expecting it to be i really smell more of like a floral like a a bold floral scent but but not like floral and like the mature kind of old ladyish scent it's more so floral and like a bold i got my stuff together kind of scent i don't even know how to describe it but it's really good though it's really good it's a bold floral scent that has a scent okay it's a bold floral scent that has some woodiness to it that's what it kind of smells like yeah that's a very pleasant scent so i'm happy to have this in my collection i do wish that there was a little bit of more sweetness to it so i'll have to see if i can maybe combine this with another one of my scents to kind of add that sweetness that i was hoping that this would have in it but this seems like it's going to have really good lasting power so i'll be excited to try this out and then the last five fragrance mist that i picked up from the sas sale is dahlia and the scent notes on this is velvet dahlia petals crisp pear praline musk and whipped tonka bean so i think i really like this scent i think i have it actually in the, the body cream and so i wanted to get the fine fragrance mist to pair with it and let's get a whiff of this oh wow i really like this okay yeah that's why i picked up a backup of this that's why i picked this up to have a nice pair so this scent right here smells a little bit like oh this is just so pleasant i don't even know how to describe it it's like a floral powdery sweet scent yes yet it's really delicate oh it's a very enjoyable scent it kind of smells a little bit like the ysl libre now that i'm smelling it a little bit more but very very pleasant very enjoyable let's see dahlia petals praline musk whip talk me this this is a very good complete scent like i just feel like it's very well rounded like there's so many different elements to it as soon as you like spray it there's like a burst of like ah uh, there's like a burst of floral a little bit of fruitiness um it's kind of smoothed out a little bit with that vanilla scent yeah this is a really nice scent okay so that's dahlia super excited to have this in my collection and i'm glad i have the body cream to pair with it so i have that and then the last item that i got y'all i was super excited about this it's very very rare that i've actually found 75 percent off candles i feel like they always have them at the sale, but they're always 50% off and not 75% off. But anywho, I picked up this candle here. Let me show you guys what I got. So it's actually a Halloween candle. Um, so I think that's why I was 75% off. It was out of season. So I picked up Wicked Apple. Okay, I really like the packaging on this, y'all. It looks really nice. And then it has like the spider webs on the lid. Like that is so cute. Um, so the scent notes on this is a uh, ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, vicious vanilla bean with natural essential oils. And so let's get a whiff of this. Hmm. Okay. So this smells like, it just smells like a fresh green apple. That's what it smells like to me. Yeah, that's it. I, <laughs> I wish there was more to it, but it just smells like a fresh, crisp green apple yeah so this seems like it's going to have some pretty good throw um i this is something i don't think you need to pull out during the you don't have to wait to pull out during the fall time this is something i feel like you can really burn well i take that back actually this might be better to burn during the fall time since it's an apple scent 
but honestly it's something you really could burn year round and so yeah i finally got a candle that was 75 percent off y'all and this packaging like i said is cute so i have to repackage this for something else once i use this candle up um which by the way i do have an updated candle hacks video part two coming up so how i clean the candles and then what i actually put inside of them so that video will be coming soon but yeah i have that and so for this candle i think i paid let's see I was able to get this candle for $4.90, which is a great deal. So yeah, y'all, that's all the items that I got in this forgotten haul that I hauled back in January during the SAS sale. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what's your favorite item that I picked up and do you have any of these scents in your collection? And um, yeah, y'all, let me know if there's any type of body care items that you all might wanna see from me in the future. I'm currently ongoing on my channel. I have my Project Use It Up video. I have my 30 day challenge, my year of no buy, and I'm just doing regular like, you know, product reviews for y'all. But if there's something else on my channel that y'all wanna see in regards to body care, in regards to hygiene, I'm more than happy to uh, film that for you. So yeah, um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Saturdays in particular are my body care videos. So if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye